Hi guys, so I'm back with another video and I'm going to share a few of the books that I picked up recently. You guys know that I'm currently working my way towards kind of like dwindling down my collection a little bit to make it a little less intimidating and stressful. I just haven't been reading a lot in general. Like I don't want to look at my bookshelves and feel guilty every time that I just keep like buying more books but not reading any of them. So I've been pretty good about just not buying books. I only have three books that I want to share with you guys but they're three books that I'm very excited about. The first book that I want to share was actually a gift from one of my best friends and it is When Dimple Met Rishi. Um, you guys know that I was dying to get my hands on this book and I actually went around a few targets in my area trying to get my hands on it before the event because I did actually go see Sandhya Menon at an event and uh, you know what maybe I'll insert some of the clips here because I didn't end up doing the vlog that I wanted to do, so... footage I filmed for that. I don't think it was that much. I got it signed at the event. Sandia was lovely. The event was lovely. I tried samosas for the first time in my life and oh my god they are amazing. I did start this already but I have not finished it yet because I don't even know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. There's so many books that I am um, I've like been dying to get my hands on and then the second I get my hands on them like I just don't read them. I don't know what's going on. If someone can give me some insight into what's going on with me at the moment, I'd appreciate it because I have no fucking clue. While I was waiting for the event to happen, I walked around the store and I specifically went like directly to like the sales section. I saw this and I immediately picked it up. White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This is the first book in her Dark Elements series, which I believe is... Is this the Gargoyles one? No, it's Demons. It's the one about demons. Okay. Anyway, you guys know I love Jennifer L. Armentrout for when I'm kind of feeling a little bit slumpy, so I was hoping that this would help. She tends to write very fast-paced, fun, paranormal romance books, um, and uh, this was like four or five dollars on sale, so. And lastly, yes, I said lastly, I only have three books. Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wine, Wine Jones? I think it's Wine. Wayne? Wayne or Wine? I'm not sure. Howl's Moving Castle, like the animated film, is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love that movie so much. It's one of like my comfort movies and when I found out that it was actually based on this book, um, I was very hesitant about picking it up because I am so attached to the movie, first of all. Second of all, I've heard very mixed things about this, like it tends to be very polarizing because it's not exactly like the movie. The movie and the book are just different. Like you can, when you read the book, you can tell that this is the story that it's based on, but the movie took a lot of creative liberties, if that makes sense. I was very hesitant because I've heard of that, but then I just, I finally just kind of like jumped the gun. It was really late one night. I just finished listening to Howl's Moving Castle theme. Um, because I was trying to go to bed and then it ended up backfiring on me. I thought that this was on the book depository for six dollars I think like six seven dollars. So I uh, I bought it, but I already read it and I actually did really enjoy it But I'll talk about that later in a wrap-up because I tend to review books in haul sometimes That is not the purpose of a haul. I have three more books that I want to share with you guys But these are kind of special because they are my bookly box slash page habit unboxings um, because I haven't done these in a while and um, I actually already unboxed these a little while ago 
but in the video I had lipstick on my teeth the entire time. I might as well just like show you guys what I have on here and I did put everything back. Also by the way, Bookly Box is now Page Habit. So this one's March so I'm gonna jump into this one. So the book is Beautiful Broken Girls by Kim Savage. This is a book that I haven't really seen or heard about. So if you guys have read this or if you guys know anything about this, I'd be interested in hearing you guys' thoughts about it. From the synopsis, it kind of gives me like 13 reasons why slash the virgin suicides vibes but i'm not sure how right i am about that because like i said i just i haven't really seen or heard much about this at all and then the things that were in here for this week for this week for this month the bookmark it's a rare book that wins the battle against drooping eyelids this keychain and it says I read therefore I am this amazing bookmark I remember this bookmark it is this gold plated feather bookmark the two teas for this month which were the chai vanilla caramel and the wild sweet orange now moving on to the next month and the book for this month was the other F word I believe this is about two teenagers who are trying to find their birth father who was a sperm donor. It seems like a very interesting book. I, this is another one that I haven't really heard very many things about but I've never read any story about like sperm donors or children who are born um, from sperm donors. Very excited about this one as well. And then the things that I've got on this... Woohoo! Oh. oh yeah I forgot there's another keychain in here. So this keychain is one of the leather keychains. It has an arrow with a little bow on top and then extra hooks. This thing I was excited about and I actually forgot that it was on here otherwise I would have used it because it's been really hot lately. This like USB fan. If you have a portable ba battery which I do and I carry everywhere with me you can just like plug this into your battery and just like fan yourself all the time. The bookmark for this one, this is a really colorful, pretty kind of mod and kind of thing. The teas for this month, we have Earl Grey, great always, and Chai Vanilla Caramel. Now we have the Page Habit one. Actually, I haven't opened this one yet, um, so I am very excited to see what's in here. Oh, first we have letter. You guys know how I feel about personalized letters in these boxes. And in, let's see who's author. Wait. I'm gonna cheat and just look at the book. Hold on. It is! Oh, oh, these things are everywhere. Oh, they have personalized notes on this now! The book is Saints and Misfits by S.K. Ali. And to think I've had it with me all this time. Ay, yes, Enya. Okay, I wanna see what's in the rest of the box. This is the bookmark. They changed the paper for the bookmark. Like, this is a shiny one now. I have something in a box. Oh! So it's a galaxy nightlight. I'm kind of wishing that it'll work like a projector, even though it probably won't. Oh my god. Okay, I can't open this. Perfect. Okay, so next up is this little baggie. There's so many books, so little time, and this is perfect for like a little makeup bag. The zipper feels really sturdy too. Are they post-its? I think, I think they're post-its. Yes, they are. You can never have too many of those. You guys know I like to tab my stuff when I read. So that's great. I think that's it. Oh no, there's another thing. It's this little pin and it says read more, which is perfect to go on my pin bag right there. That's it for sure. There's just paper on here now. So that is going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys liked it and I will see you next time. Bye guys.